Hey y'all, what's up? This is a 360 wig unit, which means it's lace all around and it tracks in the middle. The first clip was the natural color of the lace. Going from left to right, it's the natural color of the lace, which is light brown. Then the middle, it's medium brown. And the last one is caramel. Which one y'all think I used? Be honest. But tinting the lace is very necessary. You e can either can tint the lace or you can use makeup. Either one, it works fine, but it's just your preference. We're not going to be using the ball cap method today. I'm just going to peel the lace back, apply three layers of this Bold Hold Extreme Cream. And once it turns clear like this, it's okay for you to go ahead and apply. I have many videos showing that, so I don't want to be too, too repetitive showing that, but you can go and check out all of my videos. I suggest you watch them from newest to oldest. And once you do that, go ahead and melt the lace with your blow dryer. You can use warm or hot, whichever is comfortable for you or your client. Now we're just going to jump into the styling process. I like to part my parts out first, and then you can go ahead and cut the lace off and do all that good stuff. I'm going to show you guys up close how well it looks when you cut that lace off. Another quick tip that I want to show you guys is how to sew down the back of your wigs. A lot of you always ask me that in the comments, how do you secure the back? But this wig is a little too big for my client, so I'm going to take the clip that came in the wig. I cut that piece out and you see how it's, it's too big, like it's a gap. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. It's an easy fix and it's easy to do. Just pay attention. I hope this helped you guys. Any wig that's too big, you can do the same exact thing and make it fit perfectly. Now, this part is so satisfying. You're gonna go ahead and cut your lace off, whether you wanna use shears, an eyebrow razor, a razor, anything you wanna use, whichever is comfortable for you to use, go ahead and use that. Just make sure you get very, very close to the, the wig's hairline because when you leave extra lace on there, it doesn't look so appealing. One cool thing about this wig is it came pre-plucked and pre-bleached, so you don't really have to do much besides the styling process. And right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do baby hair. I usually use mousse, but today we're not gonna be using any of that just because I know how hard it is, especially as a beginner, to do baby hair with mousse because you have to use it really fast. You have to know what you're doing. It just, it's just a lot that goes into it. So trying to explain that through videos, I understand how complicated it can be and how hard it may be to get it down pat and move fast. This hair texture is really, really nice, but I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I know you guys can see it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. The lace is kind of ashy, kinda. Like, the lace is kinda too thick and 
and it's not really giving me that realistic super melted undetectable lace effect that you would want and that you would need other than that i've worked with this hair company before the hair is really nice however the lace can be something that they can improve and work on Once you have your baby hair laid, you can go ahead and complete your styling process. And basically what I'm gonna do is take some water. A little quick tip that I'm gonna show you guys, when you use purified bottled water, this can give you a better feel to your hair, less tangling and a more silky feel. But when you use water from the faucet, it kind of gives a harsh feeling to your hair if you have unfiltered water in your house or your salon or whatever the case may be. That's just a quick tip that I like to do and that I could tell you guys. And I'm just going to cut it into a bob because she's in the military and you already know how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this hair texture is beautiful and very nice. The only thing that I would say that they can improve on is the lace material itself. So it can give you that undetectable wet lace look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Everything dealing with this hair and this hair company will be in the description box.